What's up guys, it's me your boy Steve Ryan here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the top 5 best gym fragrances. So these uh, top 5, or these 5 colognes or fragrances are one of my favorites to wear at the gym just because when I smell like when I smell it in the air it makes me want to work out more and it also isn't very offensive to anybody else and I've also gotten a few compliments wearing these at the gym so here we have my number five my number five is Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct this one has got a very light light melon what there's something on my camera not my camera, on my light. There was something on my light. I don't know if it was a bug or something, but Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct is got that very light melon. Uh, it's a nice, easy fragrance, like very calm, very nice, not not offensive. Smells uh, sort of like a teenager, you know. It smells like cool and not cool in terms of like literally cool. Like I mean, it is literally cool. So it smells very cold and kind of that stuff. Refreshing. It smells very refreshing and lasts me about from like five to six hours so it's definitely a, a good it lasts very well during the workout because I, I work out from about an hour and a half to two hours so it lasts me the whole workout it's very nice um and yeah check it out if you like if you want to try out a melon scent check it out my number four is mont blanc individual now mont blanc individual i've mentioned a lot of about this fragrance and some of you guys might be saying well is it really that good I mean the cologne is pretty good but it's just it works out for so many stuff so that's why I mentioned it because it works out for fall colognes it works out for office colognes works out for gym colognes it works out for uh, daily colognes I mean it's a very 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 versatile cologne and also it still smells good and it's very cheap as well. It goes for about, you can find it for $25, $30. So it's very cheap and it smells good. It's an overall very versatile clone, very versatile clone. And yeah, it works well for the gym. It definitely works well. It lasts me about from like four, no, from five to six hours again. So it's got a good longevity. Definitely lasts me for the gym. And it also got me two compliments, which is pretty good. In the gym, you're not really looking for compliments. You're looking more of a, of a nice smelling uh, scent. You're not really looking for compliments while you're at the gym because you're only there to, you know, kind of work out, do your thing, uh, smell good while you're doing your thing. So other people can, uh, can appreciate that and just get out. I mean, that's pretty much it. So Mont Blanc Individual does that. And it's my number four. Now for my number three, this might be a little weird option, but the reason why I picked this is I'm gonna explain why right now. Ludese Pure Om by Aizu Miyake. Now what the reason why I picked Ludese and some of you guys behind the camera I'm gonna be going, that's a pretty strong smell. How would you describe that as a gym fragrance? I'm gonna say that it has a very, very strong, very strong lemon very strong lemon I don't know every time I smell this I kind of think of like lemonade for some reason yeah every time I smell this I kind of think of ice cold lemonade so when I'm at the gym and I have this on let's pretend let's pretend I'm at the gym right and I have this on okay I have it on on my shirt right now and basically I'm you know finishing a set and I'm feel I feel very exhausted and I, like, I kind of finished my set um, and then I feel exhausted and I just smell this. I'm like, and I feel refreshed. Like it's some magic trick, honestly. Um, I smell this and I feel very refreshed because it smells like nice ice cold lemonade. So it makes me want to keep finishing the workout to go to like Chick-fil-A and get, me, get myself a lemonade. I mean, <laughs> it's a pretty good fragrance. Uh, and it's definitely got that refreshing kind of feeling. So I like it for that. It lasts me about seven to eight hours, so it's very good for longevity, for the gym especially. And it's a pretty good fragrance overall, and I recommend it for the gym. Now for my number two, my number two is Dior Sauvage. Now Dior Sauvage, you guys have heard a lot about, and for me, I just have to say, you know, it's a very, 
easy, versatile, citrusy, nice, fresh, whatever you want to call it, spicy. It's got everything and it's really versatile. Very good for the gym because it's not very offensive. It's a pretty smell. It's a pretty smell in the air without offending anybody. So it's like perfect. But uh, that's your Savage. Obviously, you guys know how long it lasts. And if you guys don't know how long it lasts, check out all my other videos because I've mentioned this way too many times. But it's really that good. Now, for my number one, my number one best fragrance smelling in the gym, whatever you want to call it, is Versace Dreamer. Now, the reason why I picked Versace Dreamer and not like Dior Sauvage, for example, is because Versace Dreamer has that kind of like soapy smell and it smells you know average you know everybody if you take a shower you smell kind of soapy so this one is like you've taken a shower and with some like spices too so that tobacco makes it very smells very like kind of spicy and you got that soapy freshness which is a good combination and I've gone in three compliments with this one it's pretty crazy um, but I sprayed it, you know, a few times on my uh, on my shirt before I worked out, and then after I worked out, this girl or two girls came up to me that were working out together. They came up to me and they're like, "Wow, we really, really like your smell. What is it?" And for such a dreamer, so I told them, and that's my top five best gym fragrances. <coughs> <coughs> I think I sprayed some on my like bottom lip while I was doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's my favorite gym fragrance for Sashi Dreamer. That's my top five gym fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed. Another voice crack. Man, am I, am I not gonna get another voice? Every video I've made, I've get a, I get a voice crack. It's kind of embarrassing because I'm like nearly 17 and I still get voice cracks. But I guess this is kind of the age where you kind of do that or you kind of get that. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button below, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And peace. And like this video if you understood what I just now said.